Today I'll be showing you how to make an entrance in Theme Park Tycoon 2 without any game passes, and I'll even give you a bonus entrance at the end. Alright, so starting out, I'm just going to get the basic pathway set up, and the goal of the entrance I'm trying to get here is a castle themed, like medieval thing. So right now I'm just working on the basic path, and then I'm going to get these like short fence uh, wooden uh, rod thingies. We're going to stretch that across this little grass area because I'm making a pond right there. So you have something to walk around and it looks cool. And I'm just going to paint it rock so it's not a boring color underneath and you know it actually looks good. I'm going to fill it up with water and we have a nice little pond thing right here. And I'm actually, actually going to get a duck to put inside of it. Just a couple of ducks so it looks nice. And then we're actually going to get to the entrance. So I'm going to get some brick walls so I can actually make this it's gonna look something like this so what you do or what I'm doing here is I'm actually making two buildings around the side like so and then like I have a main entrance way where you can like get tickets scanned and all that stuff which is what I'm doing right now I'm just gonna make a window so you can look through and get your tickets and purchase things and I'm just gonna continue building up the walls and actually something that I thought would look nice is if I did something sort of like this where it's like a bridge that goes across. I don't know, I just thought that would be a really cool thing to see and then it like uh, comes up over this part right here. Before we continue on with the rest of the video, please make sure to like and subscribe. It's only 2% of viewers are actually subscribed and I'm so close to 1,000 subscribers. Anyways, let's get back into the video. So kind of like a bridge across, so I'm actually going to be working on that now. Alright, so now I've got a shape of roughly what I want, so now I'm just going to take some of these wedge things and place them under here, and then I'm going to go on top and try and place a wall. There you go, we have something like this now, so it's a castle looking thing so far, and actually what I'm going to do is I'm going to go get a image panel, I'm going to get an image panel and I'm going to place a clock right in the middle. So the clock looks a little weird, but it was the only free one I could find. So I just decided that it would be good anyway. So now I'm going to make the next thing that I think would be really cool, and that's doors on the other side connecting to the towers. So I'm just going to build a doorway right here, and then it that would be done. And just so it looks decent, I'm going to place wooden floors in there so, you know, it doesn't look ugly. So something like this, so they can actually enter the ticket booth. All right, now I've got it to something that I like. I'm going to start working on a sign for the tickets. And I'm actually going to go with a wooden sign because I feel like that fits the castle theme better. And I'm going to change up the text so it looks a little better, something like this. And then again, we're going to make a little ticket sign here. And just so we are realistic, I'm going to make another part over here for bathrooms and help. Alright, and then I'm just going to have a little area that they would enter from. And then over here, I don't really know what else I can build, so I'm just going to make an area just for looks. And one more thing I'm going to add is I'm going to make a area for people to sit. So we'll put one here, put one here, and we'll put one here, and then we'll have some trash cans for guests. And there we go. That is a castle entrance done with no game passes. And here's the other entrance that I promised, and the IDs that go with them, and the ride so you can put them in your game. Anyways, hopefully you guys enjoyed. If you did enjoy, again, please subscribe as we're almost at 1,000, and it would mean the world to me. Anyways, I'll see you guys next time. Bye.